Hi guys, Pete the Wargamer here, and I'm continuing my Primaris conversion video series by taking a look at another Traitor Legion chapter. This time, we're going to be looking at the Death Guard. So, let's get started. So let's start things off by taking a look at the finished conversion and discussing the direction that I've taken with this miniature. For this conversion, I've used the Nurgle Corrupted Death Guard as my inspiration and have tried to imagine what they would look like without their Chaos Corruption. This left me with details such as their Mark III armor, pipes, gas containers and bald heads, all of which I tried to incorporate some way into the miniature. So for this tutorial, I'll be using the Intercessors kit as my basis, with some additional components from the Hellblasters and Mark III Space Marine kits. I'll also be adding in some additional details using putty or non-Warhammer components. So let's start off by assembling our Primus Marine's torso and legs, using the stock components from the Intercessor kit. I would recommend assembling the arms as well, however keep these separate from the torso for the time being. With the basic structure of our miniature achieved, the first conversion detail we'll be adding are the pipes. Now there are quite a few ways that you can go about adding pipes. The first requires less work, and that is to use old guitar strings or purpose-built pipes, such as those from Dragon Forge. These are flexible and can be cut and fixed into place using superglue. However, for this tutorial I'll be using sculpted pipes, which I'll create using Putty and Mask Mini's pipe tool. So before you can start sculpting, you first of all need to mix your putty. Now the putty that I'm using here is called Procreate, and it's a, a little bit like green stuff, but I do prefer to work with this. I find it's a little bit easier to work with. Now you want to start off by cutting away two equally sized parts of each colour, and mixing them together to ensure that they have a nice grey or green consistency, depending which putty you're using. Once you've mixed your putty, you can then start to draw it out into a long string by rolling it against a flat surface. Now, whenever you're working with putty, I would highly recommend using lots of water, both on the surface, your fingers, and also the tools that you use, as this will prevent the, the putty from sticking to these areas. Once you've rolled out your putty, you can then place it across the tool like I am doing so here. Make sure that the putty runs perpendicular to the ridges in the tool's surface. Also, try to make sure that your pipe is laid as flat as possible across the surface. We want to get a nice and even distribution of ridges in our pipe. Once you are happy with the positioning, you can then bring in the second part of the tool and place it on top, making sure that the ridges are following the same direction as the plate beneath it. Once you are happy with the positioning, you can then apply a small amount of pressure to the top plate and carefully move it back and forth. You should be able to feel the putty moving beneath the plate, and how much pressure you apply at this stage will determine how deep the depressions in the pipe are. With the pipe created, it's now time to position it on the model. Feel free to choose where you want to place it yourself, but I find that attaching it to the collar and then sweeping it under the arm going to the rear of the miniature just beneath the power pack is a good option. Just make sure that you leave enough space for the arms to be added on later. After allowing the putty to harden overnight, you can then go ahead and affix the arms to the torso. So the next few steps in this tutorial will involve just applying components from different kits. And this one will be applying one of the heads from the Hellblasters kit. Now I really like these masked heads from the Hellblasters kit, as it kind of throws back to the Death Guard's proficiency with chemical and biological warfare. I also like the bald head of this guy, as it's a nice little nod to the unit champion of the old metal Plague Marine miniatures. So applying this head is as straightforward as applying any regular intercessor head. Simply glue it in place into the usual socket. The next detail to add to our Death Guard is another simple straightforward one. I'm simply taking the shoulder pads from the Mark III Space Marine kit and applying them to our Primaris here. The final detail to add to our Death Guard miniature is to replicate the various vials and containers that many of the Plague Marines have, albeit in a non-corrupted manner. So to represent these, I'll be using the regular Intercessor power pack and also some components from the Plasma Incinerator weaponry that's found in the Hellblasters kit, and that's the component that we have on the right hand side here. So start things off by shaving off one of the small knobs from the top of the power pack. You only need to remove one of them, and which side you choose is up to you. Just make sure that the area is completely flat once you've finished. Then the only thing left to do is to glue the plasma incinerator component to the top of the power pack. With the power pack conversion completed, the only thing left to do is to apply it to the rest of the miniature alongside any additional pouches or holsters that you want to add. 
And here we have the fully assembled Death Guard Primaris. Now, whilst I've used the Intercessor Kit as the basis of this tutorial, you could apply the same conversions to other Primaris miniatures as well. Additionally, whilst I've applied quite a few conversions to a single miniature, this wouldn't be necessary across a larger squad. You could still create an interesting looking unit of miniatures by only applying a single conversion to each one. Personally, I would only apply this level of conversion to HQ units or unit leaders. Now, whilst I've used a lot of components from other kits, it's not always necessary to buy the whole kit for just the few components that you need. I sourced the additional Hellblaster and Mark III Space Ring components from bitsbox.co.uk, and I'll link to the specific components in the description below. And finally, I just want to say a big thank you to Alchemist Workshops for providing the Intercessor kit used in this video. If you're looking for Games Workshop products with at least 20% off the RRP, you should definitely check those guys out. And so that concludes this video on converting your Primus Marines to represent members of a sort of Death Guard inspired chapter. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments below and also make sure you check out my previous videos on converting Primus miniatures. I've done uh, Space Walls, Black Templars, Imperial Fists, Alpha Legion, White Scars so far. If there are any that you want me to cover that I haven't already done so, let me know in the comments below. I also run polls on my community page every now and again so you can vote for which videos you would like to see me do next as well. Now, if you're interested in supporting this channel, you can do so by checking out my Patreon page, which you can find a link to in the description below. Now, from there, you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month, which just really helps me in producing these videos. So, the only thing left to say is thanks for watching and goodbye.